welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Radar. That's okay. And tonight we're going to be doing a Samuel Adams beer. We have Samuel Adams White Christmas. A hazy, crisp, bright uh, Christmas, uh, whatever this is. Ale. <laughs> there are a lot of adjectives in that. Yeah, there are. Um, I don't think we've had this yet. I can't remember if we did this before. Uh, no. This is, their old one is called, um... White Christmas or something. No, it's not called White Christmas. That's it's called, called, um... Oh, no, I can't remember. It was really good. I enjoyed it. Cold Snap! Yeah. I think they still have Cold Snap. Uh, they just came out with this this year. Uh, head is... Off-white. And huge. Uh, very carbonated. It smells like, uh... It's got some caramel. It's got some like pumpkin spice or something going on now. Mm, if, if it's pumpkin spice, it's really loud. I know what you're talking about, but uh. Or maybe it's all, that's all spice. Something like that. Yeah, there's some sort of spice in this. Yeah. Don't know what kind of spice it is, but there's definitely a spice. Uh, it's, it's very carbonated. Uh, and it's kind of a hazy sort of hay color type color. Oh, yeah, there's definitely some sort of spice in this. Mm. Like a dry spice. Yeah, it reminds me, it's got like a, maybe it's coriander or something, I don't know. But, mm. um, it's, it, it's kind cinnamon. of... Cinnamon, there's some cinnamon of, in this. It's kind of pumpkin spicy to it's me. Got that, it's got that sort of almost pseudo spiciness that it, cinnamon has. It I tastes, feel like there's some cinnamon in this. It tastes like Christmas. It does remind me of Christmas. Not, not, not like, uh, you know how some of the beers just taste like chewing on potpour potpourri? That is not what I get here. And I really like that. Um, this beer is, though, it's good. It's not, I wouldn't go great. It was made in April. We can make a Christmas beer back in April. I mean, maybe they wanted to. Oh, let's it. enjoy that before April. Okay. Ah, okay. That makes more sense. It's, um, got a, it's got sort of a tanginess on the very end, too. It's, it's kind of a. I get on the very edge of my mouth. Yeah, I, I don't love it. It's not bad, though. Mm, I think if I'm going for Christmas beers, like if I'm judging this against other Christmas beers that we've had, I'm taking this every time. I'm not a big fan of most of the Christmas beers we've had. Most of the Christmas beers we have are just like a spice rack dumped into a lager. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a, I'm gonna give it a six and a half. I think it's, it's good. Um, I would drink it, no problem. Um, it's just there are better St. Adams beers out there that I'd rather have over this one. But this mm. one's, it, it's, it's, it's okay. Uh, if you like kind of very malty beers with a little bit of like Christmassy esque spice, so like coriander and cloves, I think it might be a little clove might in be there. Some cloves, yeah. Some cinnamon, awesome stuff that. like that. Uh, you might want to try it. Uh, you might like there. it. Otherwise, avoid it if you're not into that whole spice rack beer thing. What about you, Radar? As far as Christmas beers go, I would honestly, like, compared to other Christmas beers we've had, uh, I would honestly give this like an eight and a half. This is a great seasonal Christmas beer. Uh, now, as far as just beer in general, I think I'd just take Boston Lager over this. Like, if I was in a restaurant and I was about to, to eat or, or do literally anything, uh, I think I'd pick Boston Lager over this 99% of the time. Uh, so as a beer, just as a beer, uh, I think I'll give it like a uh, about a seven. It's interesting, it's good. Uh, I think everyone ought to try this. I don't think it's gonna be off-putting to anybody. It doesn't have enough of the weird oddities that Christmas beers usually have. And uh, yeah. All right, well, that's our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on our channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm Rado. Thanks, Thanks for watching.